Amen, amen, amen. God bless you. All right. Come on in, come on in. We're going to get started here in a moment. Praise the Lord. God is so good to us. Amen. Glory to God, glory to God, glory to God. Hallelujah. All right, as you come on in, uh, let's like and share the broadcast. Praise God. Good to see everybody tonight. Amen. God is good. God is good. <laughs> Amen. Amen. God is good. Praise God. We thank God for this day. Amen. We thank God for his blessings. Amen. Uh, we thank God that this is the day that he's made. We're rejoicing in it. Praise God. We've been blessed all day long. Praise the Lord. And we're ready to study the word. Amen. And to do uh, what we ought to do. Amen. Our reasonable service is to study, to show ourselves approved, a workman that needeth not be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. And so we plan to do that, amen, uh, to study his word, amen. Uh, we thank God for his word, for he is his word, <laughs> according to John 1, amen. God is good, God is good. All right, we're gonna uh, like and share the broadcast when you come in. Uh, feel free to be interactive, to leave comments, to do, uh, to share scriptures, share insight, um, whatever it is that you feel led to do, praise God, let's do that, amen, to the glory of God, praise God, <laughs> amen, hallelujah, hallelujah. Be sure to tell someone about the broadcast. Praise God. Share, 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 share so that other people will know what's going on. Amen. Uh, we are going to study the word. We're going to pray first, and then we will have uh, opportunity to dive into the scriptures. Praise God. Is everybody all right out there today? Amen. <laughs> we had a lovely day off yesterday for Rosh Hashanah. Amen. And so I hope that you spent some time, uh, you know, re really relaxing and really praising God for that opportunity. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. God is good. God is good. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. All right, just trying to make sure I'm sharing. I'm gonna share to a couple of groups and a couple places, <laughs> amen. I want to share as well, amen. Uh, all right, God is good, God is good. Just wanna share and let other people know that we're on tonight. So we're gonna pray. And um, once we pray, we're going to dive right into the word of God. Amen. Dear Heavenly Father, God, we thank you tonight. Lord, we bless you. We praise you, Father, for truly you are an awesome God. Lord, we thank you for this very day that you have given us, Father. Hallelujah, God. We thank you for the opportunity to study your word. We pray that you open up our eyes of understanding and enlighten us uh, tonight, Lord. Send even a rhema word, a right now ready word to add to the logos that has been prepared. Father, I pray, oh God, that you will uh, cause this word to fall on good ground. Open up the heart, Father, that we will receive your word and that we might not sin against you, Lord. I pray against anything that comes against the word tonight. Father, I pray, God, that you would even prick the hearts of those who may need to hear this word, that they will even uh, run across this broadcast amen, and, and uh, uh, digest, to eat it and digest. And we thank you, O oh Father, for what you're about to do. In Jesus' 
name we pray. Amen. So tonight I want to talk about something that I actually have not ever spoken on. Amen. But I thank God for uh, how he's been showing me things and uh, enlightening me on different topics. Um, and so I want to dive into something here tonight that I don't usually talk about. Amen. But it's new to me. Uh, but as I learn, I like to teach. Praise God. And so we're, um, we're going to look at a couple things tonight. Now, I do want to uh, open up with a particular scripture. Amen. Um, and so let's go to this scripture here. Uh, the scripture is coming from Genesis 1, 11 and 12. Genesis 1, 11 and 12. And I'm reading the English Standard Version tonight. Amen. Genesis 1, 11 through 12. And it says, and God said, let the earth sprout vegetation, plants yielding seed and fruit trees bearing fruit in which is their seed each according to its kind on earth. And it was so, amen. Verse 12 says, the earth brought forth vegetation, plants yielding seed according to their own kinds and trees bearing fruit in which is their seed, each according to its kind. And God saw that it was good, amen. And so I just wanna give you that scripture. We're gonna look at this. The title tonight is called Spiritual DNA spiritual DNA. Amen. And so the, again, after several promptings, uh, I'll say, uh, just like overhearing and uh, really uh, allowing the Lord to kind of let me know where I am with this or where I should be with what I was hearing. Amen. Um, I came to the conclusion that, yes, I want to study this spiritual DNA. Amen. And so it, uh, there were several things that were going on. It was the anniversary of my dad's funeral. Uh, it popped up on, in my memories, uh, for Facebook. Amen. And then not only that, but I uh, had the opportunity to watch Sarah Jakes Roberts uh, getting uh, her accolades, I'll say, from her father um, this week as he passed the torch on to her to do Woman Thou Art Loose, uh, Woman Evolve, I guess is what it's going to be now. And I just listened to her and I really honestly was brought to tears as I listened to that um, video. And I saw various clips and very various snippets of things that happened, uh, I guess, at that conference. And uh, so I was just enamored by the hmm, by the way that uh, Bishop Jakes uh, really, uh, you know, um, supported his daughter and lifted her up. Amen. And really did uh, a passing of the torch or the baton, I think, as, as I heard read. Um, and so uh, that really uh, moved me. Amen. And then there was another situation where I had opportunity to talk to someone. And as we talked, we were talking about spiritual fathers and how uh, there's a distinguishment between a pastor and a spiritual father. Uh, although uh, it can be one and the same, but when it's not, amen, uh, you know, that there is a distinct difference. And so I just want to uh, look at this, even though I'm not really going to talk about those things, but those are the things that contributed to me getting to this uh, particular topic. And I believe that it will probably uh, be more that I will uh, dive into on another night. But for tonight, uh, I just want to concentrate on the idea of spiritual DNA. Amen. Spiritual DNA. And so I want to look at that uh, as we go through this lesson. Praise God. I, um, uh, uh, I thank everyone that's on. If you are on, I actually can't even find or see my broadcast right now. <laughs> Praise God. But thank God for those of you who may be here, who may be listening. I heard a lot this past week as I was in convocation uh, of people who do listen uh, to me and do catch me from time to time and or intend to. 
And so uh, it kind of encouraged me to keep going. Amen. Sometimes we need that. Amen. Uh, that encouragement to keep going. And so we thank God that there is that opportunity uh, to really share. The Lord has been blessing me to have that opportunity. And so I want to continue praise God, to, to, to share as the Lord allows me to do so. Amen. So again, thank you uh, to those who are listening, who do, to those who will listen. Amen. <laughs> and those who uh, are, are, are uh, really supporting the ministry, praise the Lord. And so tonight, uh, again, spiritual DNA, spiritual DNA. And so some of us are familiar with the term DNA. And uh, generally speaking, we know that it has something to do with our makeup as people. Praise the Lord. And, 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 and what we are made of. Amen. And as you probably learned in school, I learned in school about DNA. I've taught it in, in public school as well to a certain extent. Um, uh, but DNA is a, is a molecule in all living organisms. Amen. And this is what carries the genetic code that helps uh, them uh, to reproduce, grow, and function properly. Amen. That this DNA is what enables us to reproduce, grow, and function. Amen. Very important terminology there. Reproduce, grow, and function properly. Amen. And so all humankind shares the same basic genetic makeup. If you were to uh, break us down to the mo mo molecular level, praise God, you would see that we're we're really made up of uh, much of the same material, I'll call it. Amen. Uh, and actually, uh, it is true that uh, I, I read as I study that the chimpanzee is about 86% in keeping with our DNA, believe it or not. Amen. And so the DNA is, uh, uh, itself uh specifies certain genes, amen, uh, and, and those genes are what you inherit from your parents. Praise the Lord. And I hope you hear me both in the natural and in the spiritual tonight. Amen. And so you inherit those genes from your parents. Praise the Lord. And I wish I had gotten uh, pictures and all of this, but I hope that you can remember what DNA looks like. It's, it's almost like a ladder. Amen. And it's twisted and it turns and uh, both sides are the same and they're connected in the middle. And so... Um, this this DNA is two stranded. <laughs> Amen. It's two stranded. Amen. And so uh, this special blend, I'll call it, of genes uh, are the traits that make us up biologically. Amen. But it's also what makes us biologically unique. Praise the Lord. And so we know we get a different hair color, eye color, uh, you know, all of those things, those physical characteristics come from the components of that DNA and, and that gene pool, as we call it, uh, amen, in science. And so scientists have also discovered that, listen, your DNA also has some influence on your personality. I learned this. I didn't know this, but it has some influence on your personality and your emotional and psychological makeup. Amen. So ultimately, we can say that DNA helps to make us who we are. Amen. It helps to make us unique, but it also helps to make us who we are. Amen. And so forgive me if you knew all of that. Forgive me if that seems like an elementary lesson. Amen. But I wanted to cover that basic information so that we would know uh, 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 what that DNA is to help us understand moving forward what, uh, what we're talking about tonight, amen? And so uh, with that being said, uh, we want to figure out what is the, I'll say, the spiritual component uh, behind the science. 
Amen. What is the spiritual component behind the science? And so that is what we want to look at here. That is what we want to uh, take, uh, really try to verify tonight. Amen. And so as I was studying this and as I was looking at this DNA, man, um, and as I mentioned earlier, I had my father's funeral. I had met up with my spiritual father. We talked about the difference between just a pastor and a spiritual father. Amen. And then we also, uh, I also looked at T.D. Jakes and how he, uh, in, uh, he really emboldened and embellished and really, um, uh, uh, you know, set forth his daughter. Amen. And so with those things, I, 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 I ran across a quote, praise God. And the quote said, I took a DNA test and God is my father. Amen. I took a DNA test and God is my father. Now, I don't know about you, but we come out of the Mari, uh, you know, era and uh, who was that? Jerry Springer and all of those different ones. And, uh, there was a judge there's a judge that does dna uh so this is this era that we came out of where everybody wants to know who their father is amen uh, there's a there's a unfortunate uh, uh, uh epidemic amen of lack of fathers amen and which really uh precludes us to have a lack of identity, amen? And so our, oh, I need you to know that just like our physical DNA, our spiritual inheritance uh, is what we get from spiritual DNA. And it helps us to know that regardless of our circumstances in this life, our spiritual DNA is perfect. Praise God. Why? Because our true identity Identity as a son or daughter of God lies therein. Praise God. And so metaphorically speaking, uh, when we are reborn in Christ, he instills in us a sort of new spiritual DNA. Amen. And that gives us a, a, a new identity. Amen. Uh, and, an identity that is now in him, in Christ, and not in the old things. Amen. I, I, I'm reminded of the scripture that talks about what we once were, we no longer are. Amen. Those things that we once did. Amen. We no longer do those things. Why? Because we've been reborn, rebirthed into a new identity that has spiritual DNA. Amen. Those things that are carnal, Amen. Are not easily understood by by the ones that are uh, that 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 uh, 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 misunderstand what that spiritual DNA really is. Amen. Uh, that carnality won't let us. Uh, understand it. It's foolishness, amen, to us. But once we are reborn in the spirit, praise God, then, then that DNA has to shift, amen. That DNA has to change. We're rebirthed in Christ Jesus, our Lord. And so now uh, that phrase spiritual DNA really is indicative of the new nature that we receive from God when we're born again. Now, again, I don't mean to sound elementary tonight, amen, but sometimes we need to remember, sometimes we recall, like, like the Bible says, these things I recall to my mind, therefore I have hope, praise the Lord. It's because of the Lord's mercies that we are not consumed, great is his faithfulness, amen, so sometimes we have to recall some things to our minds. Amen. And so we need to recall tonight who we are. What is our identity in him? Praise God. Uh, we were born, hallelujah, uh, in, in, in iniquity. Amen. We were born in sin, shapen in iniquity. But, but yet uh, the, the Bible says, marvel not, uh, we must be born again. Hallelujah. Why do we need to be born again? Why? Because we need that old nature to be cast off. Amen. And we need to put on the new man. 
<laughs> Amen. And and funny enough, I didn't really come on here to really even talk about this. Amen. But this is uh, the way the Lord is going. Amen. And I endeavor to follow him. Uh, listen, in Ephesians 4, 22 through 24, uh, it says you were taught with regard to your former way of life to put off your old self, which is being corrupted by its deceitful desires. Amen. Uh, tw verse 23 says to be made new in the attitude of your mind. And verse 24 says, and to put on, see, we put off the old self and to put on the new self created to be like God in true righteousness and holiness. And so when God adopts us into his family, we now, uh, 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 we now have him living in us. Uh, he is our DNA, praise God, uh, in our blood, in our spirit, uh, in our flesh, or however you want to say that. His blood is now in us, which operates in us to do his work. Praise the Lord. Uh, and so we can do miracles, signs, and wonders uh, just as he did. Amen. Uh, and so let's look at 1 Peter 1, 18 through 19. And again, if this seems elementary to you, please change the channel or whatever they call this. Amen. Uh, I am just a little Bible teacher. That's all I am. I'm not going to turn tricks. I'm not going to do nothing funny. Praise God. Hallelujah. So we just read from 1 Peter 1, 18 through 19. Hallelujah. Uh, that's what I want to read from. Uh, that's what I want to look at. For you know that it was not with perishable things, such as silver or gold, that you were redeemed from the empty way of life. Empty way of life handed down to you from your ancestors. Verse 19 says, but with the precious blood of Christ, a lamb without blemish or, def or defect, amen? So it was the blood of Jesus that enabled us uh, to be changed from this natural realm to the spiritual realm where now we have his DNA in us. Praise God. But we must remember, listen, we don't say this to be super spiritual. Amen. We must remember we are only earthen vessels. It's very clear in the word that we are only earthen vessels, temporary. Amen. This is a shell of a thing. Amen. That we're carrying. Amen. But, but we're reminded that we await the blessed hope of our glorified bodies to come. Amen. So in other words, um, uh, this DNA is, is, is really, uh, to, to wrap us up something to wrap us up in now. Amen. While we're here on earth, praise God. And the truth of the matter is uh, that we are new creatures and we've been bought with a price. Praise the Lord. And so what we really need to know is that we are all that we all belong to our heavenly father. Amen. Uh, I, I know um, when I go home, sometimes we haven't seen each other in so long. All of my family is in North Carolina. And so when I get there, uh, they're just like, oh, you know, I haven't seen you in so long. And, uh, and and it's so funny to be around your family. And some of you don't understand this because you're around them all the time. You don't uh, probably have the same uh I'll say revelation when you see your family, but it, I, sometimes I get around it and I'm like, you look like me, <laughs> you know? And I know this just sounds silly, but it's like, you look like me. It, 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 you act like me. Uh, it, it's funny because it's like uh, when you're separated from that, uh, as I am, I never see my family except maybe once a year. And, and uh, when I get around, especially my sisters, I'm like, wow, <laughs> amen, wow. But I'm saying that to say that there's so much, uh, what I want to say, validation, amen, that comes from, from the similarities that we share, amen, I feel comfortable, amen, I don't feel out of place, praise God, I know that, that, that the same issues 
that I have, they tend to have, amen, but, but it's been broken. Hallelujah. Generational curses have been broken, but our features, hear me in the Holy Ghost, our features sometimes resemble one another. Amen. And so I, I, uh, I understand that spiritually to say, I now look like my heavenly father. Hallelujah. But I must clarify this. I must clarify this. Amen. In Isaiah 64 and 7, it says, yet, Lord, you are our father. <laughs> Amen. We are the clay and you are our potter. Amen. We are the work of your hands. That's Isaiah 64 and 7. First John 3 and 1 says, see what love the father has given us that we should be called children of God. And that is what we are. <laughs> We're called the children of God. And that is what we are. Amen. And so if you know anything about DNA scientifically, amen, you will know that it really stands uh, or, or really uh, it is comprised of strands of genetic code that are replicated. Hear me in the spirit. Amen. Uh, it's strands of genetic code that is replicated. Amen. And so this self-replicating material is, is, is the main uh, components uh, uh, of it are chromosomes and genes and all of this stuff, but it is our genetic information. Amen. That makes us who we are, but watch this. Another definition for DNA and repl replication uh, is the fun fundamental and distinctive characteristic or quality of someone or something. Amen. And, and, and it goes on to say in this definition, it's especially when regarded as unchangeable. Amen. Your DNA uh, 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 theoretically is unchangeable. <laughs> There's a song we see that, uh, what is it? Unchangeable, unshakable. That's who you are. I don't, I don't know. Can't remember the words, but it just came to my mind. Amen. So we must understand that, that, th that this DNA that we have inherited from God, our father, amen, is unchangeable. Hallelujah. It, it is replicated uh, distinctly from him in characteristics and qualities. Amen. Uh, but it's unchangeable. Amen. Uh, uh, I'm reminded that the Lord tells us that he does not repent. Hallelujah. From what he has done. Amen. In us, with us, through us. Let's look at Genesis 1 and 27. Genesis 1 and 27. And again, I'm reading from uh, English Standard tonight. Amen. So God it says, God created man in his own image. In the image of God, he created him. Male and female, he created them. Amen. And I could get into that. I'm in that school system every day. Lord, have mercy. I could get into that, but I won't. Amen. But but listen, he, it says, God created man in his own image. <laughs> And so, therefore, God made us to be what he wanted us to be. Listen, I like to read that, and forgive me if this is a, uh, if this is an error uh, 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 in, in terms of teaching, uh, but, but I like to look at that more so as he created us in his own vision. Amen. Uh, he created us to look like what he wanted us to look like, in other words. Amen. A lot of people make the mistake and say, oh, uh, you know, we're gods. No, you're not God. Let me tell you why. Because in John 4 and 24, it says, listen, uh, uh, God is what a spirit and they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. Praise God. And so God is a what? A spirit. We are not completely spirit. Praise God. So you can never equate yourself to God. Come on here. I'm saying that uh, for a reason. I'm saying that for those who may uh, try to uh, 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 be super spiritual and uh, 
and uh, make a whole other doctrine out of this thing. No, no, that's not what the Bible is trying to say. Yes, he created us in his image, amen, which a lot of people think we look like God. Maybe we do and maybe we don't. No one has seen God. But what you must understand is that he is complete spirit and we have yet to be made spirit. Are you understanding me? And so we must uh, 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 humble ourselves in that way to know and understand that, yes, we have his DNA. <laughs> Hallelujah. Uh, but, but, but that means really more so uh, having to do with his characteristics. Amen. Uh, his qualities, amen, uh, the things that he has imputed in us uh, in order to be replicated to be like him, amen, uh, to be like Jesus, to be like him. I just heard that song, amen, in my head, amen. And so really, I'm, I'm saying, uh, I'm saying this, amen, in this way, because God, uh, even God, even Jesus, God's only begotten son, Amen. The Bible says he did not even count himself to be equal with God. Amen. But instead, what did Jesus do? He said, our father, <laughs> my father, as my father has given me to do. Amen. He calls him father just like we do. Why? So we, he could be an example as to how we are to entreat our, uh, our, our DNA giver. Amen. The one who, uh, uh, who replicated us. Amen. To be as he wanted us to be. Amen. Uh, in Numbers 23 and 19, it says God is what? Not a man. Let's just stop right there. Amen. It says, God is not a man that he should lie. Amen. Neither the son of man that he shall repent. But let's stop at God is not a man. <laughs> God is what? A spirit. Amen. And, and he's also our heavenly father. And let me tell you how he feels about us. <laughs> hey, amen. Let, let me tell you how he feels about us in, in Psalm 139. Amen. 13 through 16. Let's look at this. Praise God. Because we need to know, hallelujah, that we have spiritual DNA. We have an inheritance. Hallelujah. We are joint, have joint, we're, we're, we're joint heirs with who? With Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Psalm 139, 13 through 16. It says, for you formed my inward parts. You knitted me together in my mother's womb. I praise you for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Wonderful are your works. My soul knows it very well. Amen. My frame was not hidden from you. When I was being made in secret, intricately woven in the depths of the earth, your eyes saw my unformed substance. And in your book were written, every one of them, the days that were formed for me, when as yet there was none of them. Amen. It, God took us as an unformed substance. If you if you recall in Genesis, uh, it said the earth was without form and void. Amen. But God spoke to the earth. He spoke to those elements and he made them something. Amen. God took our unformed substance and he molded us like clay, like it says in Isaiah, amen. And, and he made us into these vessels that are to serve him and honor him and replicate him, amen. Hallelujah, to bring him glory, glory to God. And so God said, listen, Jeremiah one and five, uh, before I formed you in, the, in your mother's womb, I knew you. <laughs> and even before you were born, I consecrated you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now, I don't know about you, but I get it happy and excited. Hallelujah. Because my father in heaven, he knew me. Good God. Hallelujah. Before I was even formed in my mother's womb. That means that every baby, <laughs> I don't care if I get in trouble. That means that every baby, that is in a mother's womb was meant to be there 
And don't you try to be God and change that fact. Amen. Listen, he formed our inward parts. Listen, uh, that DNA, he formed it to, to make it like he wanted it to be. He knitted us together in our mother's womb. Sometimes I think about that. I, I don't see my mother that much. Hallelujah. But I think about that and I, I, I think about it because really at a glance, I don't necessarily look like her. <laughs> Amen. I would probably look more like my dad. Amen. But, but at the same time, I think about how she had to carry me and what she might have done or been thinking while she was carrying me. A amen. And, and not only that, but the blood of Jesus comes to wipe out every, everything that came to try to take us out, even in the womb. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I think about these children and these babies and they talk about how the mother was smoking and the, uh, you know, the mother was taking cocaine and these things. Listen, they were in their mother's womb when this impacted them. All of that impacts them. But that's a side one. Hallelujah. Let's look at Colossians 1 and 16. Let's look at Colossians 1 and 16. Y'all know children are my soapbox. You know I can get on that one, uh, but I won't. Amen. Colossians 1 and 16. Hallelujah. It says, for by him, all things were created in heaven and on earth, visible and invisible, whether thrones or dominions or rulers or authorities, all things were created through him and for him. Amen. Colossians 1 and 16, all things were created through him and for him. Uh, but, but I want to make sure sure that we understand in relation to spiritual DNA uh, that it's about replication. <laughs> Amen. Therefore, our spiritual DNA uh, is about uh, reproducing uh, that which the Lord has instilled in us. Amen. Uh, listen, to replicate means to make an exact copy of. Amen. To reproduce. Amen. So it's not in the color of our hair that we inherit from our parents. Amen. It's not in the color of our eyes or how tall we are. Amen. Or whatever it is. Praise God. My dad was 6'5". I didn't get the 6'5", Gene. <laughs> Amen. Uh, but I got the dark skinnedness. Praise the Lord. Listen, it's not in that. Hallelujah. But it's the characteristics of Christ that God wanted us to replic be replicated in the image of. Amen. He wanted us to take on those things that he has uh, uh, set forth in his word for us to be. Amen. And in, uh, in, in, uh, among some of those things include being uh, uh, knowing good from evil. Amen. Uh, choosing good instead of evil. Amen. Recognizing light versus darkness. Amen. Understanding truth and standing uh, flat footed to declare truth. Amen. Learning how to love. Hallelujah. Unselfishly. Amen. Uh, learning how to accept others. Amen. Uh, hallelujah. With no respecter of persons. Hallelujah. Uh, being filled with the Holy Spirit as he has uh, uh, admonished us to do. Amen. And so we, we, we have to understand that there's things that the Lord is looking for <laughs> coming from us. Amen. Coming from us. Praise God. And so we have to uh, make sure that we have the spiritual DNA. Amen. That the Lord wants us to have. Now, I'm going to go back to my first scripture. Amen. The first scripture I read, the scripture that we're coming from tonight is Genesis 1, 11 through 12. I'm going to read it again. Genesis 1, 11 through 12. And it says, and God said, let the herbs sprout vegetation, plants yielding seed and fruit trees bearing fruit in which is their seed, each according to its kind on the earth. And it was so. 
The earth brought forth vegetation, plants yielding seed according to their own kinds, and trees bearing fruit in which is their seed, each according to its kind, and God saw that it was good. Amen. Amen. So, so let me show you a few things here. And this was such a revelation to me. Praise God that there are three uh, really distinct um, characteristics that lie within this scripture. Amen. The first one where it says um, uh, uh, the earth will sprout vegetation. Amen. Plants yielding seed and fruit trees bearing fruit. Praise God. Uh, well, that first one is grass. Amen. The first sprouts of the earth are grass. Praise God. And, and, and there's probably various kinds of grasses. And that grass is usually uh, for, uh, you know, cows and all of that. Right. Um, and, and then there's another one. It says the herb that yields seed. Uh, and so this is more mature. And this seed has the most striking characteristics. The larger of, uh, this would be the larger of plants and vegetables, amen. And, and the third one, uh, the fruit tree yielding fruit after his kind, whose seed is in itself. Think about a peach, think about an apple, think about the fruit. The fruit, uh, it says that the seed is in itself. Amen. Uh, so in other words, it's the external characteristics of this fruit that's on display. <laughs> Come on here. Hallelujah. So the first one, the, 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 let me say this, the grass, amen, uh, its characteristic is, is, is not as conspicuous, right? But the second one, uh, something like a plant or a vegetable, is a, a bit more conspicuous, but it's contained within it, uh, within that uh, characteristic. But the last one, the fruit, <laughs> It has this ex external appearance. It also rises above the ground, praise God. And, and the, uh, the phrase after his kind uh, seems to indicate that they have the power uh, uh, of certain characteristics only belonging within themselves, praise God. And so we see God mentioning uh, re reproduction and replication even when he created the fruits and the vegetables. Listen, not only did he say it for the fruits and vegetables, he said it for man and woman. Amen. He mandated that we be fruitful and multiply. Amen. That's replication. That's reproduction. Amen. And, and why did he say that? Because he wanted, uh, uh, he wanted those characteristics to multiply on the earth, amen, at which enables more families and more people to be in fellowship with one another, amen. So guess what? Ultimately, we are to share in this community, in this uh uh, a field, I want to call it, amen, we're supposed to be blessed in the city and in the field, amen, uh, uh, our, our fruit is blessed, amen, our fields are blessed, listen, all of that, and so we are to be his disciples, the ones that are Christ-like, but how is it that we are being Christ-like if we're not replicating who he is? Amen. Uh, if you're a, a, a disciple, you're a personal follower of Jesus. Listen, personal follower of Jesus, not what you heard, <laughs> not what you thought, not the impression that he gives. Amen. But we are to be that conspicuous fruit. Are you hearing me? We're supposed to be that fruit that has the seed contained within us. <laughs> Hallelujah. To be fruitful is to be productive, right? To be fruitful is, 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 is what the Lord asks us to do. In John 15 and 8, it says uh, that we are the ones that are to be, uh, that are to bear much fruit. Amen. And it goes on to say, proving yourselves to be my disciples. 
when we bear much fruit. Hallelujah. So we're what are we replicating? We're really replicating the fruit. And what is the fruit? <laughs> Amen. That's that joy, that faith, the love, the gentleness, the self-control, and all of those things. Love. Did I say love? All of those things. Amen. The fruit, that's what's to be replicated. Praise God. And that's uh, Galatians, but I don't have it written here uh, to read it verbatim. But that's Galatians, I believe it is. Uh, is that Galatians? Or you always get that mixed up. But but the fruit of the spirit, amen, that is what we are uh, replicating. Amen. Hallelujah. Let me just pull that up so I don't misquote. Galatians 5, 22. Amen. Hallelujah. Let's see what it says. It says, um, uh, it says, love, joy, peace, forbearance, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. That's what's to be replicated. Amen. That's what he wants us to reproduce on the earth. Amen. Not uh, necessarily a whole bunch of children, but that's fine too. Amen. But he wanted his characteristics. Amen. We were created in the image and likeness of God. Amen. So can you imagine that the Lord is gentle? Can you imagine how much self-control? Listen, I know the Lord has self-control because every time I do something, he don't come down and, 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 and yank me up. <laughs> so that means he has the fruit of love and patience, long suffering, even with us. Hallelujah, hallelujah. And so such should we have with one another. <laughs> Amen. When, listen, when you replicate something, you act like it. When you replicate something, you look like it. Amen. When you replicate something, you are like it. Amen. And so therefore we have to be ones that love each other just as Christ did. Amen. Let's look at first Peter one and 22 and I'm out of here. I'm done. Amen. First Peter one, 22 uh, through 25. It says now that you have purified yourselves by obeying the truth so that you have sincere love for one another, love one another deeply from the heart. Verse 23 says, for you have been born again, not of perishable seed, but of imperishable through the living and enduring word of God. Verse 24, and this is what blew my mind when the Lord showed me this. Amen. Verse 24, for all people are like grass, Lord have mercy, <laughs> and all their glory is like the flowers or the plants and vegetables of the fields. The grass withers and the flowers fall, but the word of the Lord endures forever. And it goes on to say, and this is the word that was preached to you. Amen. God is good. Dear Heavenly Father, God, we just thank you tonight. Lord, we bless you. We thank you, oh God, that we are your spiritual DNA. Father, we thank you, God, that you have replicated yourself on the inside of us so that we can be your disciples. Hallelujah. That uh, reproduce on this earth. Father, uh, 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 impute within us much fruit. Hallelujah. Help us to put off the old man and put on the new man that we would be clothed in righteousness, that we can replicate righteousness in the earth. Hallelujah, Lord. We thank you, oh God, that you are with us. And not only are you with us, but you are in us. Hallelujah. Thank you for um, fashioning us by the works of your hands. Father, thank you for molding us on that potter's will like clay. Oh God, we thank you, Lord, that you're continuing to make us into your image as you have, uh, as you see fit, Father, for us to be that we could bring you glory. Hallelujah. Here on this earth, God, let us be those replicators. Hallelujah. Let us replicate you that other people will see hallelujah who you are and they will glorify you 
hallelujah, as a result of what they see in us. God, you told us to be that light, hallelujah, that's that's uh, not easily hid, hallelujah, Lord. And so we thank you, God, that as we do uh, the marvelous works that you have called us to do, hallelujah, that we will indeed glorify you in all that we do. Father, we thank you for the spiritual DNA that runs through our bodies, uh, that runs through our minds, that runs through our, hallelujah, our, oh God, our spirits. Hallelujah, Lord, that we can be like you, look like you, live like you, hallelujah, act like you, and love like you, hallelujah. Lord, we thank you, oh God, for being that word, that truth that's within us, hallelujah. Continue to, uh, to, to, to replicate that truth on the inside. Hallelujah. So that what comes out of us, it, 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 it looks like love, just like you do. Father, we thank you, oh God, that you are our heavenly father. Hallelujah. That you cost us, hallelujah, to be more and more like you day by day. Lord, those things that are not like you, I pray that you will wipe it away. God, take away sin and any other unclean thing. Hallelujah. That's not like you, oh God. For we, uh, we uh, desire to inherit, hallelujah, the ability to know good from evil, Father, to the ability to do good and not evil, hallelujah, the, the ability to recognize light, uh, hallelujah, from darkness, the ability to offer up uh, uh, words of truth, hallelujah, to those who might be asking. God, we pray that we will love, hallelujah, even those that are difficult to love. We pray that we will not hold grudges, hallelujah, Lord, or be bitter. Father, I pray, oh God, that, that we won't be angry, but that we will uh, be, uh, hallelujah, Hallelujah, compassionate as you were. God, we thank you so much that you have filled us with your powerful and precious Holy Spirit, oh God, that we know that even the things that, that we once were, we no longer have to be. God, thank you, God, that old things are passed away and behold, all things have become new. God, we thank you, Lord God, that you knitted us together in our mother's womb. Hallelujah, that you fed fashioned us on the inside. God, you, 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 you formed our innermost parts, oh God. Even before uh, we were in our mother's womb, you knew us. Hallelujah. And we are so grateful and so thankful that you took this unformed substance and you made us in uh, to what you would have us to be. We're wonderfully and fearfully made. Hallelujah. How wonderful are your works. Hallelujah. God, you framed us. Uh, hallelujah. And I pray God right now that you would bless even that one who, uh, feels like they're out of sorts, even in their mind. Father, I pray that you would even knit their minds back together, for we have spiritual DNA. You have given us DNA, uh, both biologically, emotionally, mentally, and, and physiologically, and psychologically. Father, we thank you, oh God, that our uh, DNA will, will, will replicate yours, God, uh, for you, Lord, our, our are our father. Mm. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It is you who have made us and not we ourselves. Thank you, oh God, that you created us in your image. Hallelujah. That, that you wanted us to be as we are. And so we rejoice in knowing. Hallelujah. That you, your hands, oh my gosh, uh, 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 formed and fashioned us into who we are and what we are. Lord, I pray identity. Hallelujah. Upon those who may have forgotten for these things we are recalling to our minds that we might have hope that is in you that we'll be able to move live and move and have our being hallelujah god i pray that we will be good representatives of you i pray god that we will do those things that you're calling for uh, hallelujah as the earth cries out for the earnest manifestation of the sons of god come on here hallelujah that we will be who you want us to be god 
impute within us the DNA, the spiritual DNA that you have for us. Oh God, hallelujah, hallelujah. That, 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 oh God, that we would be with, oh God, without blemish and without defect. <laughs> All of our idiosyncrasies and uh, proclivities and hallelujah, our inadequacies and our infirmities, Father, we cast it at your feet now. We lay it at your feet on the altar for you to wipe and wash it away to be remembered no longer. God, we thank you that by the power of your blood, <laughs> You have uh, 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 washed and cleansed us <laughs> and, 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 and adopted us into your kingdom. Father, we thank you, God. Hallelujah. We bless you, Father, for being our heavenly Father, for being uh, 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 that spiritual DNA that we need in this day and time. Lord, I pray against sickness, uh, 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 colds, virus, flus, Lord, uh, infirmities, uh, afflictions. Oh God, even, uh, 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 hallelujah, even uh, sickness and disease, hallelujah, of all kinds. Father, we cast it off now. God, we cast it out now. Hallelujah, be Jehovah Rapha in every situation. Even those that have all types of cancers, Lord, cancel it out now, God. Hallelujah, that their bodies, hallelujah, Lord, will be fashioned after you. Oh, Manusha, even on the, go to the molecular level. <laughs> And, 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 and do the strands, the DNA, the genetic coding, blot out the defect, blot out the radical cells, <laughs> the things that are causing the, 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 the lack of replication in you, Father. And even that evil thing, that wants to, oh God, replicate itself. We cancel it out now. Hallelujah. Even that evil thing uh, that wants to replicate itself, uh, we cancel that out now. Uh, for we in, have inherited spiritual DNA, even on that cellular level. Hallelujah. That, it, that, that, that evil will not be able to penetrate. God, we thank you, Lord, for the hedge of protection. We thank you. Hallelujah, Lord. Oh, God, for wrapping your arms around us. Hallelujah. That we will replicate you. Hallelujah. God, we thank you for this lesson tonight. Spiritual DNA. God, we thank you, Father, for who you are, that you made us uh, as you would have us to be. Hallelujah. Just to be like you, Lord. To be like Jesus. To be like him. Oh, how I long to be like him. And I thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Tonight. I bless your holy name tonight. Hallelujah. For you made us to prosper and to be in good health, even as our souls prosper. And so I thank you, Father. I thank you, Lord. Hallelujah, God, that, that we are uh, wonderfully, fearfully, and abundantly, hallelujah, blessed. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. So we dedicate this lesson to the Lord tonight. We thank God for who he is. We pray these things in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. We thank God for all who have joined tonight, those who will watch uh, uh, even on the replay. Uh, leave us some notes, some likes, some hearts, some comments, amen, even on the replay uh, so that we'll know that you uh, are, are being benefited, amen, by the word of God. We thank God for who he is and how he has blessed us. Listen, we're not done with this uh, spiritual DNA because there's so much in here, uh, identity and, uh, and, and father, uh, 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 fatherhood and uh, uh, sonship. Amen. Uh, I, I'm not neglecting those things, but I, but I desire that the Lord would give me what to say. Amen. In, in that regard. So I thank God for tonight. I thank God for the privilege of studying his word, uh, for the uh, opportunity to come, come before you tonight. And I give God all the glory, honor, and praise. Uh, and thank God in Jesus name. Amen. <laughs>